Hello friends, so this is here from Mythical Hacking Tips and Center Jaipur and you are watching my YouTube channel slash dot in, okay? So today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to configure Samba server, Samba, okay? Samba in Kali Linux so that we can share our data with our Linux machine or the uh, Windows machine. So the first command we have to run is apt get install Samba. This is the first package we need to do. So our Samba package is getting installed. This is only six percent of package has been installed yet. Still ninety four percent is remaining. So just wait. It's taking some time. The net is working. So just wait. Why is making some delay? its package is stalling it's taking some time so you have to be big patience Nineteen percent done. So I'm just waiting for that. So many packages inside Samba server, so it's taking some time. It will take time, depending on your internet connection speed. My internet connection is Geo Five.
82% down Ninety percent down. Ninety eight percent down. Ninety nine percent. And that's it. It will come. We will set it to no. So our first step is finished. Now we will start our second step, and that is go to CD etc Samba folder and CD file. You can see by default configuration file is smb.conf. So you can see cat smb.conf. But here we don't need this file. So what we are going to do? We are going to delete this file. okay now you can see I have deleted the file now I create my own empty file smb dot count which is empty you can see cat smb dot com that's empty now I will write or I will configure the file first I am going to name here and uh, the name will be like slash root dot in okay now path equal to the path i want to give suppose root slash data and that is browsable It's called to yes, and then read only. It's called to no. We don't want only read only permission. So I have said read only to no. Okay, and you can also create uh, more things. But for now, I have set this one only and save the file now we are going to create a user for samba okay we are going to use a or create a user for samba or you can use already the root user as a samba user you just have to create smb password and that is smb just assign your password whatever you want okay that's done and the third step is also finished we have also created a samba user which is our root user and we have created samba password for that now we need to start the service and the service for samba is service smbd start and there is another service and that is service nmbd start service nmbd start
ओके नाउ आफ्टर सर्विस हैज बीन स्टार्टेड वी कैन गो टू आवर विंडोज मशीन फॉर टेस्टिंग पर्पस ओके वी कैन गो टू आवर लिनक्स मशीन फॉर टेस्टिंग पर्पस सो लेट्स बट बिफोर दैट वी हैव यू कैन सी आवर कंफ्रेशन फाइल कैट इट इज सी सांबा एस एम बी डॉट कॉम आवर पाथ इज रूट डेटा सो चेक द पाथ पी डब्ल्यू स्लैश रूट क्रिएट डायरेक्टरी डेटा नाउ सी एच मोड हाई फन आर सेवन 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 टू रूट डेटा नाउ गो टू सी डी डेटा फोल्डर and you can create some file here and you can test so okay now <coughs> check the ip address of your samba machine and that is 192.168.225.39 now i am going to our windows machine and type windows plus r and here i type dash dash One ninety two point one sixty eight point two two five point three nine. That's it. He's asking for username. Username is root. Password red hat. You can see slash root dot in. This is showing. Cat etc. Samba smb dot com. You can see the name is slash root dot in. So here you can see slash dot in. When you go to slash dot in, you can see the files I have created there inside data folder A B C D E F G H. C D. Sorry, C D data L S A B C D. If I delete package here, that will be deleted there too. R M hyphen R F. I have deleted the software from here. You can see now there is no. A B C D file. You can see there is also no file. Now I am going to create folder here and name it hacking. You can see in Linux it will show hacking folder here. I am going to C D hacking folder now and create two files. Touch C C N A dot T X T and Linux dot T X T. You can find the same file inside this folder now. Wow, ccn.txt and linux.txt. This is how we have configured Samba inside Kali Linux. I hope you understand. If you have any problem, you can ask me through comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching us.